Welcome to the BFF Report. I'm your host, Mike B, aka Phony, and today we're talking about Family Guy Online. Now, I know this is uh, deviating, deviating from the norm, just just slightly it being a casual game and also being uh, a web-based game, a browser-based game, but I've not necessarily been adhering to any sort of norm over the past 50, 75 episodes. So, let's check it out. All right, character creation in Family Guy Online is a little bit different than we're used to. Most of us play, you know, MMOs pretty much on the daily basis. In this case, you don't pick a class or a race, you pick an actual family member, then you build it from there. Each family member has a male, female counterpart, and really all you're determining is whether or not you like a certain body build or whatever. I also want to note back there that you saw that there was a lock and a grayed out image of Brian, which apparently is everybody's favorite family member. The reason why I say that is because you have to pay to unlock him. Now, admittedly, I got in here and I was thinking, uh, there's no way that we'd really get any good kind of character creation going, right? But then if you think about the limitations of the universe itself, right, the Family Guy Online art collection, and then of course you have the selection of each individual family member, each one with a considerably different body style, including, I guess, you know, the dog, then you actually have a relatively robust system. I mean, as I'm going through this thing, I'm creating just random characters, kind of throwing some things on, just wanting to see what I'm capable of doing here, and every character you create looks like it belongs in a Family Guy episode, which I think was kind of the intent with making a Family Guy game. So they definitely didn't underdeliver here. Now let's talk about the world itself and how it looks. Uh, it looks like an episode of Family Guy, it really does. I mean, take a look around. Here's my character here, uh, going through various emotes and such, but you can see characters running around in the background outside of the uh, em immersion destroying names across the top, which you could disable. Uh, it looks like what you would see in an episode of, Act of Family Guy. Now, we've all seen Battlestar Galactica online, uh, screenshots from like Game of Thrones online and stuff like that. These are all web-based games using the Unity engine. They don't have the benefit of being based off of an animated show. Now that being said, they could have totally half-assed this entire thing and made it look like it was kind of like from Family Guy, but they didn't. This looks like Family Guy. Yes, I'd rather look at Meg toweling off after a shower when she does that butt floss thing. Now, even for people out there who have seen like every single Family Guy episode that's out there, you're gonna find original content here. They've went ahead and they've recorded tons of crap to put in here. So every time you talk to an NPC or if you have a quest or something, it's voiced by the actual actors and it's mostly original stuff. Now you notice right here, I'm doing a little bit of exploring. I'm running around and I'm clicking on items that have the little magnifying glass on my cursor here. Uh, it's fairly simple stuff. You basically, <laughs> I, I think I'm just kind of, want, I wanted to see how much XP I could gain without actually even starting my first quest. Cause my first quest is to talk to Chris, who's upstairs. Happy birthday. Just wanted to send our wishes from Virginia. Bye. Okay, Donna, I'm done. <laughs> Now, there are plenty of little Easter eggs like that spread throughout the game. I've, I've, this is just the first house I'm going through. I'm exploring every every room that's available for me to explore uh, and clicking on everything that I possibly can in order to, one, obviously gain XP, and two, to add to my collections. I, for example, I found a cat in another city, uh, I think in the downtown area of Quahog, and uh, I right-clicked on it, and it said added cat to, like, mega cat collection or something like that. So, apparently, you can collect things, like a meta game. You, know, you can collect things and fill up uh, various items, very sets and complete sets. I don't I have no idea what happens when you complete the sets, but all that matters is that they do have that kind of functionality there where they've not just given you a static world where nothing is clickable, you can't do anything but talk to an NPC one and then talk to NPC two. I'll be gay with you. Oh this is too perfect. Now, if you're not watching this on Zam.com, you're probably watching this on Tank Spots, maybe Wowhead, right? Or some or some related site to that. Maybe even YouTube. Who knows? But you're you're definitely one of those kinds of people that probably plays MMOs just in general. And if I say something like, "Man, this game is just full of nothing but kill X of Y quests," you'd be like, "I hear you. I know what that is." And man, that sucks. But if you think about it, that kind of quest doesn't seem to really fit with the Family Guy Online universe. You're not gonna run around slaughtering 15 wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men just to please some random NPC. Okay, so they have very few combat related quests, at least in the handful of hours that I played. Then what do they have? Well, there's an epic butt ton of FedEx quests for you to do, like lots of them involving running around collecting items around the various neighborhoods to help a popular character from the show achieve their task. And once you do complete the task, you are greeted with a small clip from the show animating the task you just helped them carry out. Now let's be honest about two things here. Are they shoving Family Guy clips in our face every other quest? Yes. Is that bad? Well, only if you don't like Family Guy. Well, what if I don't like Family Guy? Well, then we're probably not playing this game. Now, the second thing, and probably the most important, is in the multitudes of MMOs that we've all played, how many times have you actually returned with six livers of the Elder Board actually saw the chef go back and cook the meal it was for? 
Probably never, but you know what? You're right. They are just using simple animated clips that they stole from the show to actually finish off the quest. Okay, I guess it's cheating. You shake me nerves and you rattle me brain. Too much love drives a man insane. You broke me will. Oh, what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Now, we already know that you could collect cats if you wanted to, or you could collect various other items and add them to whatever various collections. So what about other meta games? Well, <laughs> as you can see, uh, Grease Up Deaf Guy is in, and the goal here is to just stay within the vicinity. So you see the little circle around here, right? Just, all you gotta do is just stay near <laughs> the Grease Up Deaf Guy. Uh, enjoy the music while you're here, uh, and then whenever you step out, you get a high score. Uh, somebody, somebody here, I kind of played this one a little bit too long, I think. Now, this may be a shocker to some, but there is a character sheet here that we can go through and see uh, how my character is progressing. You have different sets of skills. You have combat and you have social skills. Again, not a lot of combat going on, but there is a few here and there. You're not killing anything. You're like beating up bullies and stuff like that. You can see we also have a social bar, which is where all the emotes go. Moving on to other sections such as gear, this is all pretty self-explanatory. You have gear that you can put on, you can wear. You saw earlier there was a kid wearing a welder's mask, people that wear hats. There's all kinds of items you can get via questing, or if you want, you can buy stuff off of the cash shop. Sure, why not? Now, I'm not going to show any cash shop related items just yet, outside, of course, the Brian class that you can unlock by purchasing him in the cash shop, which, again, not disclosing any amounts because those things can change. But uh, there are other things that you could buy from their consumables. You could get those by uh, playing the game or you could get them by buying them and they, they will bug you. If you don't have consumables, it will pop up in the corner and say, hey, you don't have any consumables. You want to buy some? Come to the cash shop. And it tries to get you in there like that. Standard free to play game type stuff. Now, in closing, let's go ahead and try to analyze who it is they're trying to get with this, because this is a browser based Unity game. So it's pretty much anybody that has access to a browser at work or at school and that have maybe some free time and some headphones, hopefully, uh, that they want to spend in a universe that's just kind of just jump in and just play. It's a casual game. It's, it's, it is totally a casual MMO. You get in, you play a little bit, you romp around the porn shop as a little kid. Nobody says any, lots of little kids, apparently. Uh, <laughs> but it is clearly a game that's geared and very well designed for the Family Guy fan, and that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else to add to that. They, they set out to make a game that's based in the Family Guy universe, and they pretty- was that boobs back there? Wow, I hope there's no nipples there, because I'm not believing anything else. Anyways, yeah, Family Guy Online is pretty much what you'd expect from a Family Guy based game. It's not trying too hard to be what it doesn't need to be, it's just doing what you would expect. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I'm going on vacation starting tomorrow. Today is Thursday, so tomorrow I am leaving. I'll be gone for a couple weeks. I did put together ahead of time uh, an episode to put out for next week, uh, but the week after that, um, well, we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>